Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you guys here. Hope you guys have been having a wonderful day. In today's video, we're going to be doing a quick event overview and going over the free to play card. It's just going to be able to just throw two video ideas in one instead of doing two separate ones. Because again, I already kind of did a video talking about this event, but I'm just going to do a quick recap just so uh, you guys do see it. Um, and just are aware of what's coming. So this is going to be the next uh, event, you know, the next story event for us. It's going to be a new Farmable Curtis. Or let's, he, this is what he is currently going to be looking like. If you guys haven't seen him already, this is it. Uh, and then basically, just like all the other events, it's going to be the same deal. Unfortunately, on Global, I don't know if we're going to be getting this because, again, we get more AP potions in the missions versus buying them outright with the points. So that definitely seems to be a Global thing. But we'll see if they change it up this time. Uh, the biggest difference here, um, it's I mentioned it in the update video, but basically what they changed was instead of buying the rainbow printy, uh, the big one, now you're going to be buying the hides, which I'm trying to find that information here, but I guess I am, oh, here it is. So right there, you guys can see it. That's going to be the biggest difference of this event uh, as of right now. Again, the, this part right here, I don't know if that's going to be on global. I don't know if they're going to decide to change that. But as of right now, it's not. And then right here, you do have the rainbow printy hides instead. Uh, here are the units that you need for the effect bonus, which I feel like a lot of us have Mal, so that's good. Uh, good thing, you guys, we just had the Fabuki event, so well, the New Year's Rosin event, so most of you guys should have them. And obviously, Curtis is going to be free to play, so I would say most of us should have at least three of these characters. I know a lot of people are not going to have Axel and Fuka, which is going to be a bit unfortunate, but that's pretty much that table. Um, big Another change is, I believe, now you're going to be able to buy the level 4 gems, which is nice. And now you're going to be able to get the 20 pieces of the level 3s and 10 pieces of the 4, which is cool. Uh, obviously, a lot of this is just what they want you to do in the event, which is just kind of... You know, obviously, farm up Curtis. The, you know, this is basically it. Uh, the notice going over the change of going into the printy hides, which is fine. Uh, and then, obviously, here it's where they kind of tell you about going with Curtis and uh, this day of achievement and just little stuff like that. But yeah, here's the event goes complete each difficulty, replace Curtis, reincarnate Curtis, raise Curtis, and then exchange rainbow colored shells at event points. So that's pretty much it. This is the, sh the current shop. So you guys could take a look at that. And here are the pieces for Curtis. So let's go ahead and talk about the actual Curtis unit. Sorry if I tried rushing that. I didn't want to make a super long video on that because I already kind of did it. But I just want to show you guys the important stuff and not make you guys sit here for 20 minutes. Um, so that that's pretty much what that. And then we'll go over Curtis now. So again, Curtis is completely free to play. So make sure to get the five copies of him that you're able to purchase in the shop. It's definitely worth it. He's not a bad unit. Uh, here are his stat tables. So attack is pretty good. Uh, defense and resistance a little on the lower end, but it's good, pretty decent as well. Here's his attributes, resistances. Obviously, he's a monster unit. So here is his abilities. So um, main ability is physical monster weapon wielding allies. All stats except speed plus 12%. So that's pretty good. Obviously, if you're rocking him in a full monster team, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how your monster boxes are looking, but, uh, you know, but that's still a pretty good ability to have. Over here, we have Nether Enhancement plus one. So self-attack and resistance plus 30% when battle begins for three turns. That's a pretty good percentage. 30% is a good amount. And then obviously, you have that for three turns, which is nice. Over here, you have Nether Enhancement plus five. All allies defense plus 15%. So that's really cool. Um, obviously that 15% defense will be coming through for a lot of big boss battles and different situations like that So that's definitely very notable over here. I have nether has plus seven Which is self speed plus 90% when battle begins for three turns. So That's obviously very cool as well um, So overall as a free-to-play unit, he's pretty solid man And let's check out his character skills So, you know, he has a single target and I believe he just lowers defense but it's also an attack. So he's lowering the enemy defense on a single targeted enemy, which is sick. Then over here, you have the final punch, which is an AOE attack that's lowering defense as well. So that's pretty cool too. Uh, and then his another has to plus three, nuclear fusion. He lowers resistance. It's an attack and it's an AOE. So he's a pretty, I mean, he's a debuffer and he's going to be doing pretty good on terms of damage. So not a bad unit to invest a little bit in, which obviously they're giving you the investment copies. So pretty cool. Uh, here are his character magic sp uh, spells. You have fire, armor break, mega fire, mega armor break, and giga fire. All of which are pretty sick. Definitely happy with that for sure. Um, probably, you know, it's there. If you ever, if you just want to have uh, some extra damage. But uh, yeah, folks, let me see. Um, we, we have a little, we could kind of talk about him a bit more here. 
again uh, especially with like Thursday coming out if you guys pull Thursday you know you could definitely rock them together which is not a bad option um, because Thursday's actually a pretty he's a pretty cool unit he's actually a pretty cool unit man so I definitely um, don't mind him definitely don't mind him at all um, and then obviously kind of looking at the event a bit more my biggest excitement here is being able to buy more of these level threes because unfortunately my luck with the drop rate is garbage <laughs> it completely sucks so um, we'll definitely be taking that 128% that's definitely very exciting stuff here um, so I'm pretty excited to be able to grab up more rainbow gems I see why they change it to the, the shells which is the hides um, mainly due to the fact that I feel like this is better in value because like right now for example I have 50 and then if I get 99 of them obviously I'll be able to do one and I'm gonna have a bit more for the next one so uh, it's pretty cool to have that um, this right here, you know, I have yet to see if Global losing that is the great or not. So obviously we get more with the, you know, with the missions. So I don't know how many more we get per mission per if you're getting one, five per day. But um, I still feel like that's fine. I, I'm not too, it's not that big of a deal to me, honestly. And again, going over the character special effect bonuses. This one, it's a little on the crappy side because I feel like a lot of people are not going to have Fuka and Axel, but hey, that is a-okay because you don't necessarily really need them for this. Again, I feel like if you have Mal, um, Gang Curtis, and F uh, Fubuki, you should be completely fine. And yeah, I mean, that's 20%. And then anyways, these are 10 And then obviously, try finding some friends who have Gordon and Thursday or Jennifer as a friend and just kind of bring them as well, which is all I'm going to be doing. I know my boy Hazing, I believe, has them. So I gotta make sure I start. I got. I, I've used that, and yeah, man. I don't plan on summoning though. I'm gonna. I will be honest. I don't plan on summoning on this banner, um, especially after playing JP and using more of like the more recent units over there. There's a huge freaking difference between the, the units that we're getting now for like the next month or two versus what units become on JP. So as of right now, I'm probably gonna be skipping a lot uh, and summoning more on the JP side of things versus the global ones. So that's pretty much it, man. But uh, yeah, folks, that is pretty much the whole video. So if you guys enjoyed, hit that like and subscribe button for more Disguise RPG content, news, and updates. It was great having you guys here as always. Uh, good luck on the event. I'll probably do like a video talking about the actual event once it's up. And, you know, that's primarily it. I'm excited to see Curtis in action. I'll probably get him to like level 1,000. That's what I did with the last two free-to-play units. Well, actually, no, I have um, Noelle actually pretty high, to be honest, which is pretty, She's I think she's pretty good. So that's primarily it uh good luck on your summons if you guys are summoning i will have a shitty summon video as always so uh you guys have a great rest of your night and oh great rest of your day and i'll see you guys later take care and peace out man